well, God, if I had not believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, tell the person next to you, if you want to see the best things in life this year, if you want to see the best things in life this year, I dare you to go ahead and learn how to praise God right where you are. If you want to see the best things in life this year, I dare you to go ahead and trust God right where you are. If you want to see the best things in life this year, I dare you to trust God right where you are. Joe basically says, I don't care what I else I go through. I may even hate the day that I was born, but I'm not going to doubt God because the same way that the Lord gave is the same way that the Lord can take away. You better understand that some things might turn negative, but my mindset is I'm still going to praise God regardless to what goes on. People may call you a fool. People may call you crazy. People might say you strange or deranged, but I made up in my mind, call me what you want to call me. Just call me a child of God. Call me what you want to call me, but I guarantee you're going to call me victorious. Call me what you want to call me, but you must follow God. You might as well call me victorious. Call me what you want to call me, but I am an overcomer. Call me what you want to call me, but I am a conqueror. Call me what you want to call me, but you can't deny the fact that God is with me and I give God glory for everything that he's done in my life. Somebody need to give God glory. It stops right here. Don't you complain another day. It stops right here. God has been too good to us for us to complain. It stops right here. If God is telling you to forgive somebody who's done something against you, it stops right here because that malice will eat away at your spirit like a cancer. You need to be free. Let that person go. It stops right here. God, I give you glory because I want to be free. God, I give you glory because you're giving me the victory. God, I give you glory and I thank Thank you for giving me everything that you've given me in my life. Every eye closed. It stops right here. It stops right here. Saints, whatever God has for you, whatever behavior that you may have that may be standing in the way of getting what God has for you, it stops right here. If anyone has any malice in your heart against anybody, no matter how bitter it may feel to you, it stops right here. Quit replaying in your mind the negative that they did to you. Because the longer that you replay it in your mind, the more power that you give to it. And the more power that you give to it, you're going to keep remembering it clearer and clearer and clearer. Do it for your own freedom. Release them. Don't know who I'm talking to right now. Whoever it is that may have been scarred or broken, God is able to heal your broken heart. And the only way that he won't is because you won't believe him to do it. You won't trust him to do it. You can't go back and erase the negative. You can't do anything about it. I can tell you this. The scar you may wear for the rest of your life, but God can take away the pain in such a manner to where it doesn't hurt anymore. You cannot erase it out of your memory. That's not what forgiveness is about. You can't erase it. It was hard. It was rough. It was life altering. But God can take away the pain. If you make up the decision in your mind that I'm going to release them and let it go. It stops right here. All of the complaining about what you do not have stops right here. We began this message today in Hebrews. The Bible says that we have to lay aside every weight 
and the sin which does so easily beset us. And we have to run this race with patience. God is the author and the finisher of our faith. You can't do it by yourself. If you're still bearing some scars from some decisions that you've made before in your past, release yourself and let yourself go. Forgive yourself. There's nothing that you can do to go back and undo it. But God can heal you. God can heal you. God, we thank you today for your healing power. It stops right here. Somebody in the house or over the radio or over these CDs, you may be struggling through some really bad situations right now. Some you know you may have caused yourself. It stops right here. Quit running from things that you're afraid of. Quit running from being successful when God wants you to be successful. We said the other week, children, don't dumb yourself down to fit into somebody else's box. If God has given you mindset, God has given you wisdom, God has given you understanding, God has made you smart, you maximize your potential. Because if you don't, it's a kick in the face to your creator. Father, we thank you. It stops right here. And the only person who can prolong it is you. It stops right here. Somebody say, it stops right here. All generational curses from people who may be struggling through those things. Your parents may have gone through something. Grandparents went through something. Great-grandparents. It's always been in your family. It stops right here. care what habit that you've had over the last five years that have you in bondage right now. The Bible tells us that Jesus was saying that I came to set you free if you're in bondage from that. And if you're yoked up with Jesus, that means that you are joined up with him and he's able to heal you, able to deliver you and able to strengthen you. It stops right here. It stops right here. Somebody say, it stops right here. All negative speech that you have against yourself. Who, God? All the negatives that you still are feeling right now from when you were 10 years old, 15 years old, 20 years old when somebody damaged you, somebody scarred you, somebody scarred you emotionally, possibly physically, possibly mentally. It stops right here. It stops right here. Lord Jesus. Those who want their freedom. Say it stops right here. Whatever it is that you may be struggling through right now. It stops right here. That does not mean that over the next five days. That you won't still be in some things. It does not mean over the next five days. Ten days next year that you won't be in some things you're going to go through some things for the rest of your life remember it's process it's a process it is a process but your mindset has now changed so when your mindset changes so must your situation because i'm no longer the same it stops right here quit worrying about being the bigger person and going and apologizing. Don't worry about being a bigger person. It's not about you being a bigger person. It's about God doing something better on the inside of you. Don't compare yourself with somebody else. That's prideful. And that's proud when you say, I'm going to be the bigger person and I'm going to go ahead and take the step and apologize. That's pride. That's pride. That's pride. Don't do it for that reason. Do it so. Do so because you know that's what God lays in your heart to do. Do so because God is making you better than what you have been before in your life. Quit saying that I'm going to be the bigger person. Start saying I'm going to be a better person than what I used to be. I want somebody to get that in their spirit. Start saying I'm going to be a better person than I used to be. I'm not going to curse you out just because you cursed me out. I'm not going to recompense evil for evil. I'm going to be a better person than I used to be. 
Lord Jesus. It stops right here. Allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to heal. I want you to join hands with the person that's next to you. Father in heaven, Lord, you know the struggles of the people whose hand that we're holding right now. Jesus, you know what they drug over into 2010, and they said they were going to leave it in 2009, but yet here we are, the 26th day of December 2010, and they are still struggling with it. God, just please give them the strength to stop it right now. Give them the strength, God, to change their mindset. Give them a mindset of praise in the midst of it right now, so that, oh God, the situation will change, because we know that you are the God over all situations, and you're able to pull us out of whatever it is that we may be in, and you will pull us out when when we are ready, you will bring us on through the end of it when we are ready. So God, please free my brother and my sister from whatever it is that may be binding them down. Free them from negative self-esteem, negative low self-esteem, low self-esteem that some of them are dealing with now because some of their parents told them they weren't going to be anything, because society told them that they weren't going to be anything, because all kinds of things that they've gone through, they may even be blaming themselves and believing that they won't be anything. God, please free them up right now in the name of Jesus. It stops right here. It stops right here. Some of my brothers and sisters who may be seeking love and seeking for somebody to validate them. Lord Jesus, please help them to stop looking for it externally and understand that you are the lover of their soul because that's why they keep getting into bad relationships. They keep getting into bad situations. They keep on, oh God, they keep on subjecting themselves to more and more and more pain. It stops right here stops right here and some who may be abusing others because they were abused when they were young some who may be giving other people verbal attacks because that's what they got and that's what their normal is Lord Jesus please help them to stop it right here it stops right here it stops right here it stops right here, stops right here. financial curses Lord Jesus, mental curses, mental illnesses, mental diseases, bodily diseases. It stops right here. Even though symptoms may prevail, symptoms may continue a while, but God, I thank you for starting the process wherewith I will be able to see my victory, see the manifestation of my victory. It stops right here. Lord, help us to stop complaining. Lord Jesus, please give my brother and my sister strength to stop complaining and to not complain about situations that they're facing in their lives. Lord Jesus, give them the healing that they need to be able to bounce back from whatever it is that they may have been struggling through. Lord, please give them strength right now. In the name of Jesus, it stops right here. It stops right here. And if they've been holding themselves down because they may have failed at something, if they're holding themselves down by talking down about themselves, if they're holding themselves down through procrastination and through negative speech, if they're holding themselves down, give them the power right now to escape. It stops right here. In the name of Jesus. 1 John 4, 4 says, Great are you who is within us, God, and he that is within the world. And if I have the Holy Ghost, Acts 1, 8 tells me, I shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come up on me. I can make it through. I can stop it right now in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to keep speaking it until it comes to pass. I'm going to speak blessings into my brother and my sister's life right now. I'm going to speak peace back into their life right now. I'm going to speak God's favor into their life. I'm going to speak restoration of joy. I'm going to speak restoration of peace. I'm going to speak restoration right now in the name of Jesus or put them back together again where they are broken. It stops.